Step into the captivating world of Magnum P.I., a classic TV series that etched its mark on the entertainment landscape. Set against the stunning backdrop of Hawaii, the show follows the adventures of a laid-back private investigator with a knack for solving cases and a signature red Ferrari. As you immerse yourself in this iconic series, be prepared for a roller coaster of emotions. It's not just about solving crimes. It's a journey filled with funny, shocking, and sometimes downright sad moments that will keep you glued to the screen. Do you have a cherished memory associated with this TV series? Has it inspired or impacted your life in a surprising way? Share your stories and experiences in the comments below. Stay tuned for more insights into the many facets of this timeless show. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Magnum PI? Feel free to share it with us. We would love to hear your stories. Keep watching for more intriguing insights into Magnum PI. The television series Magnum PI underwent a period of adjustment in its initial years, working through some glitches before finding a successful formula. Once the show hit its stride, it became an entertaining experience for viewers. Notable stories, such as the one involving the quarterback friend Darcy, contributed to its appeal. The production value was impressive for its time, featuring a Ferrari, a helicopter, a mansion, and captivating locations. Tom Selleck's growth as an actor during the series is evident, and his 80s style is a nostalgic element absent in today's productions. In contrast to contemporary shows, it offers a blend of professionalism, solid acting, effective directing, and an element of fun. A defining series of the 80s, it stands out for its remarkable theme, breathtaking cinematography, and a strong cast, particularly Tom Selleck and John Hillerman. The inclusion of Dobermans adds another layer to its appeal. The episodes are diverse and consistently interesting, showcasing various adventures and happenings. Selleck's engaging narrative, along with distinctive features like the lively mustache and charming smile, contribute to the series' lasting impact. Hawaii and the iconic red Ferrari serve as captivating elements that enhance the overall viewing experience. Tom Selleck's portrayal remains unique, leaving an enduring mark in the memories of fans. The series is celebrated for its entertainment value, and his charismatic performance is acknowledged as a standout contribution. In conclusion, it is remembered as a significant and highly enjoyable series, offering a combination of compelling elements that set it apart in the realm of television. The show's legacy endures, and Tom Selleck's portrayal remains a memorable part of television history. Time spent watching is recognized as time well invested, appreciating the craftsmanship of a bygone era. In certain episodes of Magnum P.I., particularly within the fourth season, the focus shifted to secondary characters due to Tom Selleck's commitments to movie shoots, rendering him occasionally unavailable for full episodes. During these episodes, the character TC, whose initials stand for Theodore Calvin, played a significant role. Meanwhile, Higgins, portrayed as an Englishman who served in World War II, was depicted by John Hillerman, a native Texan who experienced childhood during the wartime era. Navigating through the intricacies of Magnum P.I., one discovers the challenges faced during production, exemplified by Selex scheduling conflicts leading to a focus on supporting characters in specific episodes. Additionally, the background of T.C. and Higgins adds depth to the narrative, with T.C.'s full name being Theodore Calvin and Higgins being an Englishman who served during World War II, a character played by John Hillerman, a Texan native with a childhood connection to the wartime era. Unveiling these facets contributes to a more nuanced understanding of the dynamic storytelling and character development in the show. In summary, Magnum P.I. unfolds a narrative rich in character exploration and production intricacies, as seen in the spotlight on secondary characters during Selleck's filming gaps and the background stories of T.C. and Higgins. These insights deepen our appreciation for the series, offering a glimpse into the complexities that shaped its narrative. In a memorable scene from Magnum P.I., actress Shirley Rogers, featured in the show's opening title sequence, created a buzz with the snorkel shot. The moment from Season 2, Episode 22, showcased Magnum teaching Rogers to snorkel. Although uncredited for this appearance, she played a role in Season 1, Episode 15, Don't Say Goodbye, and appeared in crowd shots in Season 1, Episode 13, All Roads Lead to Floyd. Magnum's choice of wheels added a distinctive touch to the series. Behind the wheel of a Ferrari 308 GTS, he navigated the Hawaiian roads, while Higgins opted for the Audi 5000. 
The vehicle lineup also featured a GMC Jimmy or a Jeep Cherokee XJ, enhancing the diverse elements of the show. Tom Selleck, portraying Thomas Sullivan Magnum IV, brought a unique flavor to the character's development. Initially envisioned as a James Bond of television, Selleck pushed for a change, rejecting the flawless playboy archetype. Insisting on a more relatable, laid-back persona, he drew inspiration from his experience on the Rockford Files, transforming Magnum into an approachable, charming character. This shift not only resonated with male viewers, but also became a defining aspect of Selleck's career. Crafted with information from a reputable source, these insights shed light on the nuances of Magnum P.I.'s characters, vehicles, and the actor's influence on character evolution. John Hillerman, known for his role as Higgins, extended his on-screen persona beyond Magnum P.I. by featuring in advertisements for Mauna Loa Macadamia Nuts post the series. He maintained the essence of Higgins, captivating audiences in a different context. In a quasi-reunion, Tom Selleck, alongside guest stars Roger E. Mosley and Larry Manetti, appeared in Las Vegas Season 5, Episode 6, titled When Life Gives You Lemon Bars. Notably, John Hillerman, who retired in 1996, did not partake in this gathering. Magnum P. I embraced crossover episodes, intertwining its narrative with Simon and Simon and murder, she wrote. However, planned crossovers with The Equalizer and Quantum Leap never materialized, leaving untapped potential in the show's interconnected universe. All these insights, derived from a reputable source, unveil the post-series ventures of John Hillerman, a partial cast reunion in Las Vegas, and the missed opportunities of planned crossovers. These elements contribute to a comprehensive understanding of the broader Magnum P.I. legacy. Following the conclusion of Magnum P.I., Universal Pictures considered a theatrical movie with the original cast. Tom Clancy penned a script envisioning Magnum's return to the Navy and subsequent adventures. However, Universal deemed the original cast and Clancy's script insufficient for a significant box office draw. Notably, the recurring character with the most appearances was Higgins' friend, Agatha Chumley, portrayed by Julian Dobb. Remarkably, Dobb, apart from her involvement in Honolulu Community Theater, lacked professional acting experience outside this show. Tom Selleck's personal connections intertwined with the series. Both his wives, Jacqueline Ray and Julie Mack, made appearances. Selleck's estrangement and later divorce from Ray preceded his meeting with Mack during the show's run. Furthermore, Selleck's parents and adoptive son Kevin made brief on-screen appearances with a photo of his parents visible on Magnum's bedside table in later seasons. These insights, drawn from a reliable source, offer a glimpse into the post-series considerations, notable recurring characters, and Selleck's personal connections embedded in the narrative. Set to unfold in San Pedro, California, the TV series initially faced a location shift to Hawaii due to CBS's operational considerations. Hawaii's production offices and sound stages recently renovated after Hawaii 5-0's cessation in 1980 prompted the relocation. Despite the change, the show subtly nodded to Steve McGarrett and 5-0 without featuring McGarrett himself. Transitioning into its third season, the series incorporated a model of the iconic bridge from the bridge on the River Kwai into Higgins' study background. Reflecting Higgins' wartime past as a British POW, the bridge model encountered occasional breakages throughout the series. In 2014, the estate portraying Robin's nest hit the market at $15,750,000. A year later, it changed hands for $8,7 million, and by April 2018, all structures on the estate met demolition. All these details stem from a reputable source, providing insight into the series' location evolution, subtle nods to its predecessor, and the fate of the iconic estate.